dead even Bowser. Ooh, Zell. All right. I said I was going to play smart this week because we got the qualifiers coming up this weekend, but uh, eh, we'll find out just how smart I play. <laughs> we shall see. It's going to be real hard for me to skip the polywoggles. I just I love it so much. It is an early me stream. I woke up early and I'm just like, well, I'll start streaming right off the bat. It's fine. I should have maybe cleared a shop slot. Fallout 4 had you up all night. Odds are you pass out in one to two hours max. Oof. Yeah, I uh, I didn't sleep super well for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. But that's my story this morning. <laughs> Just like I woke up and I kept having these weird dreams. Weird dreams. <laughs> Primarily with like one running theme. There's a card, actually I rolled by it on the first shop, called Baby Root. It's like a weird little good tree, like a happy little baby root. You know, it's a small little good tree. But I was, I, I dream often about like a hardware store. I used to work for Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse. And I'll often have dreams that like take me back to jobs I've had in the past, stuff like that. Wow, actually tying the fight off the back of that magic research. Well, I, I was dreaming, like I said, it was weird. I was dreaming that like, uh, that there was somebody planting, not, not even just planting, but like people were turning into baby roots. And, and then it was like corrupted heartwood came into play somehow. And there was somebody who like, I, I know not everybody's watched Wheel of Time, but in Wheel of Time, there's like the dark one. And and they're dark friends. They're people who like embrace the dark one and they will just like do evil stuff. The dark one's like the, you know, it's it's like Sauron in Lord of the Rings in this. It's it's the, the big evil entity. But so there was like someone who was planting baby roots in the warehouse. And then there were people who were becoming like evil baby root, you know, like corrupted heartwood baby root con co-conspirators. And... Oh man, it was just, it was so strange. And then like, I started becoming an evil baby root myself. And I like, you know, they they were like taken over because you know, the, the warehouse will have like, like a hardware store will have all these different just metal racks usually full of stuff. And so yeah, like, <laughs> dude, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> oh, kidnap, kidnap school. I've only experienced something like that once when I visited my grandparents as a kid in Minnesota and like just the sheer power of the wind blowing through. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know what the dreams, I, I never really intuit any meaning to my dreams, but apparently people got to become baby roots and you got to decide if you're going to be a good one or an evil one. And that's just, uh, that's how life works. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Oh, I don't, I don't have any attack on my last unit. What did I steal from them? I didn't even see what I killed first. You're against a board of 122, 122 puff puff. Hey, that was a good steal, actually. Didn't have any progress because 3.0, but I'll take. Uh, let's, let's finish the quest. See what we get here. <laughs> Stop tripping out to dreams that make no sense. Oh, I thought there was a dragon in the pack. There is no dragon in the pack. Uh, spinning wheel could be fun as I go into four on Zell. Just start compiling a board. We haven't taken a lot of damage yet, so seems all right. Um, maybe I can combine these mice. Like a turn before I should be able to have a treasure. A treasure. See, I almost said a Trevor. The number of times I call a treasure a Trevor. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's gonna be a weird one today, folks. Summoning portal. Fool's gold. Fool's gold is a lot of money to spend. Oh, but I like level spells. Yeah. I don't have any summons. I guess I'm just going to take kitty cup first. I love fool's gold. I just... I think I want level spells because I'm Zell. I don't think I want to just spend my time just compiling. Wait, this got big enough to just absorb something. Hit Fiona, hit, hit. Yeah, Ogre Princess, down. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, Otto, Coffin, Guano, good to see you all. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's uh, roughly what today's gonna be. Uh, well, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Seems intriguing enough. Runestones? Uh, Noble Steed's kind of fun. I like three cost treasures, maybe even a little more than four cost treasures. Problem is the rune stones also kind of fun. I only have the one monster, but I could just monster manual and like ride the wretched mummy. Maybe this won't complete that fast and I can turn a four cost into a five sort of deal. Other thing is I could be incentivized to get a tree. I think I just am going to grab up rune stones. I think we'll be somewhat strong enough this fight. Next couple of fights. Oh, sport didn't really get a lot stronger here. How, why have the Teslas disappeared without a trace? I'm not sure I'm totally understanding. They're just like, too light. <laughs> They're just gone. Hit the 16-16. Yo, it did. Yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> uh, two eights, not really a lot of stats. Well, okay. Two mims endlessly locked in combat, bashing into one another repeatedly. Um, It's not, I don't really want to go Chupacabra. I do have the monster manual though. It's likely I'm gonna get some kind of four cost treasure here. So I guess I'm gonna pair these and wow. Oh, I don't know where this, this isn't going anywhere yet. That's pretty good with the other hand. I don't know, I'm gonna just kind of speculate on things that cost four right now. That's still just a one, one basically. Yeah, my, my family being from, well, okay. I mean, either way, I can't really transition this into a much higher cost treasure, so I guess I'll just take a, a four here. Summoning portal? It's like half summons, half... It's it's not much anything yet. Man, it's another fool's gold. It's like the shop really wants me to go fool's gold. Let's get a moonsong horn. Weird thing is I have... I have enough summon mojo. Crack two eggs, love making breakfast. <laughs> is that, I mean, I guess that's what you got to refer to it. Yep. Dang, this mummy is stacked. Ranged, oh, it did hit the ranged unit. That was the one I wanted it to hit. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see. Maybe we catch a... Ah, it's like maybe we catch a, a treasure map here. Oh, we do catch a treasure map. Well, that's pretty good. I got all the three cost triples out the way then. Because we can turn this into a six cost treasure fairly easily. I think I'll just keep the tempo treasures for right now. Get rid of the spinning wheel. I got a couple of plus one golds. Dragon pair? Uh... It's the first line on something potentially that costs six. I feel like pretty much anything's better than a brave princess. I don't think I really want to go lightning dragon that badly. There we go. I want to go level spell. I definitely want to do that. Mmm, could friendly. I need to improve a couple of units on this board. I'm taking a bunch of heat. Yo, Tweedledee and a sheep pair. Let's improve multiple units on this board. Let's just, uh, yeah. This ain't absurd, but it's a start to something better. On the bright side, you don't have to... Yeah, there's no point in shoveling if it's just going to get recovered, is there? They have a pretty sizable hippo that they're working pretty hard on. Will I ever get through 35, 36 HP? 37, I think, actually. Oh, well, that was unfortunate. That mummy just really wasn't going to target well anyway. Bob is going to pop something. Pretty nice that Tweedle is absorbing a lot of extra stats. Ooh, Tweedle absorbs even more extra stats. That value trades, that cannot. 813, 914. 
Nah, can't quite crack the hippo. But I get to go to five anyway. So you're already getting heavily inclement weather and <laughs> it hasn't even really started yet. The baby bear is not great right now. IMO. That could be amazing. That's kind of what I was hoping for, actually. Uh, we need some tempo choices. That's intriguing, but I think it's a little too hard to set off. What is this? It's got 16 right out the gate. Like one more support, it's close. Maybe I can just combine the sea terrors and not have to worry about it. Could just look at one six cost. Let's see. A Hercules. Let's take that, I think. Let's uh let's consider Hercules and also the answer is yes. <laughs> Fantastic Herculeses and where to find them. We have lines on seven cost treasures. Ooh, that's great. It'd be really nice if Hercules gets just big enough to live through a couple of hits here. That's great. Ah, uh, would have been nice to pop the sheep first. Wow, they have double sheep already. Or double double big pigs. That's kind of wild. You'll blame global warming when you're inevitably stuck in an unheated dorm for two to three days, unable to leave. That sounds miserable. Uh, we are losing a lot of HP as we go here. Maybe I can find the second sea terror right now? And then follow it up with the six cost hurt treasure? I mean, I have not really... Maybe this is better than one of the wolves. I haven't done massive board improvements in a few turns. I've had a little here, a little there, a little of this, a little of that. Shoulder fairies. Yeah, shoulder fairies are pretty good. Problem is, this guy's not that mighty. Hmm. Huh? Hmm? Baba? Not a Baba board. <sighs> can I survive this fight? I feel like I can. I feel I feel like I can survive this. Uh, problem is, I kind of want to get my shoulder fairies even more attack. Maybe, maybe I can't handle that though. Don't love that it's powered by a golden mim. Infinite, I got some concerns here. You might... Unironic puff puffs? I support this. Any decision to puff puff is a good decision. Uh, hit the donkey, I almost think. Nothing on their front line wants to hit Herc. I mean, that's kind of okay because Herc might complete here. Oh, I should have kept my fat mouth shut. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Three, four, five, six. I don't think that's quite enough to kill me, but it's close. We are six now. What stabilizes? Um, Crazy six drops? A really good treasure? Sea tear into a seven treasure? Better support? Not really. That, that Storm King is so lethal. It's not gonna be a mix of whiz. What's up, Infinite? Yeah, uh, Shoulder Fairy is the second. That's pretty good. I need to drop the Tweedles because I never found enough Tweedle tech. That's one more HP than you need. <laughs> All you need is one. <laughs> Technically true. Well, Mirror Mirror Round Table? Do we have enough Round Table juice? Does make the Tweedle D pretty stacked. We barely have enough round table juice. It looks like I would want to get an Echo and an Ashwood. Could also just Black Prism and apply the emergency Merlin's test. Crap. I need to live somehow. I need I need I need to survive. 2014? 
Wait, Hercules can value trade through one of their larger units. Big shoulder fairies. Hercules down. I think we're living here. This looks livable. Again, maybe I should keep my mouth shut until I know for sure. <laughs> but it looks livable. <laughs> all right. That's all you need. You just need to keep keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, Wanda Weirding Phoenix Feather Pandora's box. Oh, there's good stuff. It's probably... I'm so close to dead. It's probably got to be the Phoenix Feather here. As much as I want a box. I think we already have a round table. Excuse me, so... I'm just going to Phoenix Feather. Other hand's not really that great. I'll keep the Moon Song for right now. We can very easily get cheap tree tech if we can find it. Granted, it's got to be the Ashwood Elm. Hang on. Can I have that, uh, that Heartwood Elder pair back? I'd take that now. Now that i got something half decent. I'll take an Echo Wood. I said it out loud so that it would show up. I'll take an Echo Wood. I'd like an Echo Wood. Actually, the Creeper, just because Round Table is going to be a, a 2020 all by itself. So really kind of like any tree to fill the void here. Oh, I thought that. I thought, I thought, wow, I like Tweedledee enough that I think Tweedledee is an Echo Wood at first glance. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, that's not it. Which one of these has more attack than HP? Uh, that's not, that's not. Ooh, they're too strong. It's all the shoulder fairy. The shoulder fairy has to shoulder carry. Wait, oh, that wasn't great. That wasn't great. That was okay, but not great. Too many things not great. Wait, oh, I have the I have the phoenix feather. I have the phoenix feather. Oh, I thought I was out. I thought that was it. I saw my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> okay, hold up, hold up. Hold up. This is a good pack. I don't think I have to take the second creeper, but at the same time, maybe I just do anyway. Let's look for Echo Wood. <laughs> Can I replace the Moonsong Horn with a mimic, uh, a mirror, a, a mirror mimic, a mirror, a, a mimic mirror? I don't need that. Hi, Lucent. I'm uh barely surviving, but surviving nonetheless. What's up? How you doing? Oh, okay, that's a uh, that's fine. That's just fine. That's never seeing play again. That's never seeing play again. But this is definitely seeing play right now. Probably want to HP support at least the Herc for a lot more HP across the board. Uh, Nina, maybe. If you'd asked that two turns ago, I would have said, "Don't think so." But this turn, I'd say maybe. Just maybe. We got a lot stronger in the last couple of turns here. Well, I, I'm looking at this right now. This is fine. I'm okay here. With round table buff both Ashwoods, even over the HP. I guess. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, no, you're just, you're just, that's, yeah, I agree. I agree. Actually, this creeper is kind of good. Like a couple extra attack. Yo, okay. I don't care about the sheep triple. There's no four costs that I'm really looking for, but I'll, I'll take the sea terror triple. Mimic. Mimic Phoenix Feather. Like Handemitis is cool, but Mimic is so strong with the Phoenix Feather. Horn of Olympus is kind of cute, too. Nah, we take Mimic. If you have trouble dealing with one Echo Wood, you'll definitely have trouble dealing with two Echo Woods. And if you happen to Pingomorph my Echo Wood, well then hopefully you'll have trouble dealing with two Shoulder Fairies. 
Uh, that means we just want to put a tree in over Herc. Well, not not entirely. Herc is still my health source. Wouldn't mind combining that. Could just hugeify one of these ash woods. Because it'll still it'll still give it a Well, it's better to health buff it. Mimic table means Echo Wood stats are also equal. I'm not understanding. Let's get a combat spell. Did I make my Echo weaker by doing that? Those are not combat spells. Uh, that's a good that's a good spell. I'll just buy that. So it never comes back. Actually, I could have played it and had a line on the four cost. Well, it definitely got bigger than last turn. I'm not I'm not sure I understand. What's up, Nina though? Lucent, good to see you both. Yeah, Coffin was over here talking about Virginia snow and how wild the inclement weather is. Sounds like snowy places are getting very cold. Good morning, real deal Teal Seal. I don't know why it's so fun to say your name, like in its entirety. What's up, Teal? <laughs> good morning, good morning. Echo gets buffed by round table, but because round table is mimic, Echo gets their stats equal. Oh, okay. So it, it collects all the stats and then whichever, and then it, it also, so it does like a second level. So normally speaking, it would take, you know, whatever one stat is, and then interesting. Or it would do, oh, in, interesting. And the second round table only affects Echo. I played one game this morning and I took a first. I don't remember exactly how I got there, but damn, that Echo got way bigger. Every creeper buff is just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. All right, the golden pumpkin, not going to lie, that's kind of scary. Be nice if we kill the Medusa. Oh, we don't even have enough power. That's a huge Medusa. How'd your Medusa get so stacked? Okay, the scam tree can't do much. I need Echo Wood to pop Medusa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. We get there. But it's a tie. Because this becomes my Phoenix Feather and I get two of them and Medusa takes out one and I value trade. What is this giant Medusa? How do I... <laughs> I can't... I can't fight it. <laughs> I need a... I need a good Piggo or something. Another Echo would go a long way. Another Shoulder Fairy would go a long way. I don't need more Sea Terrors. <laughs> that Medusa is terrifying. Why have they done this to me? I just wanted to, like, win the last fight, win the game, you know, normal stuff. That's good, but I don't got... I mean, I guess I could just drop the Nutcracker in. I do have a, a second tree up put down. I probably don't take the treasure, though. Singing Sword, Round Table. Nah, I think I kind of like my Phoenix Feather. Oh, Happy New Year's right back at you, Otto. Yo. Well, I guess now I do buff that, because that is the health source for the Shoulder Fairies. No Pigo. No more Echo. I was going to steal something. We got a lot bigger by combining the Ashwood, methinks. Or at least... The Ashwood got a lot bigger by itself. They got a Pigo, but they took out a non-critical target. Okay, this time it landed on the tree. I didn't see what it was that buffed up the uh, Medusa, but it was like a big friendly spirit or something. That Hercules needs to go. I think it's a liability. There we go. Popping the pumpkin really is kind of nice. Another Medusa? No. Not cool. I need you to kill Medusa number one. Okay. Now you kill Medusa number two. No. Okay. Okay. We got there. GG. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Yeah. I'll, oh, well, I would I would have returned the favor there, but never mind. I was too slow. <laughs>